What's up, YouTube? So I hit that behind the back dunk last week. First time I've ever done that on anything close to 10. That was a 9-10 rim. I had only ever tried behind the back in a couple sessions like years ago. And I did uh, right hand to left hand and I was not able to finish that. And then uh, within the past month or so, a couple times on like an 8-6 rim, I did left hand to right hand. And I was like, oh, this is definitely the better way to do that dunk or the easier way to do that dunk. So then I went and tried it on 9-10 and, uh, and hit it. So that was pretty fun to hit a new dunk at 35. But I wanna talk about high carb diet here. So leading up to last week, I was not going low carb, but I just wasn't being intentional about it. And my body weight was sitting a little bit lower. I wasn't necessarily like continuing to drop weight, but I just was sitting closer to 220 rather than 225. And you know, that kind of feels like a good thing. The problem is my performance was trash. So there was a, a low rim session actually where first of all trying to warm up I felt like garbage my legs hurt for no reason and then uh, you know it was just a low rim session I wasn't like flying into jumps but still I could just feel like man you are not getting off the ground uh, and then my strength was garbage as well and so that was I think uh, like the Tuesday of, of last week and I was like dude you gotta start doing more carbs again so you know cranked it up to 400 plus grams a day the next day after that I already just felt better energy-wise, had a decent lift. Uh, then it was a rest day. Then the next day was uh, gallops, bounds, and sprints on concrete, okay? And not like a small amount of them, like a bunch of them, um, but actually felt pretty decent. And then the day after that, so, you know, after that workout, you're not expecting your legs to be fresh, but the day after that, I go to this outdoor court and, you know, I, I'm not hurting and the energy's there. So that's, even though, you know, my legs probably weren't in tip top shape, I still felt like, oh, you can do some stuff today. And that's a testament to, <laughs> to what a high carb diet can do. And yeah, I mean, I don't think it was like a spectacular jump height day or anything, but uh, it definitely couldn't have been a down day um, with me making that behind the back dunk. And so, yeah, even within a few days, uh, high carbs really just seems to make a s substantial difference. And just for reference, uh, you know, high carb, body weight in kilograms times three uh, would be your grams per day. And that'd be minimum. That'd be for like kind of a moderate activity level. If it's a higher activity level, you got to be thinking above that, you know, times four, times five, maybe even higher. If you're somebody who's like playing a sport every day, then you sort of have like strength, uh, like strength requirements plus endurance requirements. Um, so then that number just keeps getting higher. Uh, the more the more active you are. So I just want to be clear like high carb diet This is not just like a thing. I learned in college right in nutrition class um, It really is practically meaningful and I've seen that in my own training and in training other people and in people online who tell me uh, It honestly really makes a big difference then one more thing I wanted to share is just a recent jump science testimonial So this guy was on the level up program. This is the message he sent me And here's his dunk. This was not like a baby dunk. This was like a, a full flush. He got his whole hand above the rim. A uh, really solid dunk. I think he probably gained, you know, at, at least five inches on his vert in seven weeks. So obviously gaining a big chunk on your vert within a couple months is not the norm it is possible sort of at the beginning of the training process right usually young males who have not done a lot of training um, they're the ones who have the potential to have that experience but uh, over time obviously you're not going to keep gaining you know six inches in two months on your vert um, but either way i think jump science programs give you the tools to uh, keep pursuing uh, better athleticism over time. For those who don't know, programs, it's a one-time purchase, 50 bucks, it's, you know, really doable. Uh, you don't have to pay me monthly for coaching or anything like that. The programs are good enough. You should be able to take it and go on your own. So I think it's a layup decision.